All right, now that we're unmuted now, I go back over the intro that I just did. Guys, welcome back to OJ Gaming. Today, I finally got downloaded on my laptop. I finally got back downloaded on my laptop. Um, oops. I guess my cell phone works. But I got back downloaded on my laptop, Star Trek Online. Uh, this game I used to really, really love playing, and then I kind of fell away from it. Um, over the last couple of, um, last couple, I mean, last couple of years, I kind of fell away from it. Now I'm trying it again. And since today I am off, uh, I'm off from being on the truck and I'm going to be off today and tomorrow all day. And then I go back on to the truck on Monday. So basically this will be a kind of a um, couple parts scatter a uh, couple parts with lives scattered um, along those t uh, along today and tomorrow uh, basically it's just gonna be um, me playing Star Trek online or if somebody wants to play um, if uh, Natasha wants to play raft we'll play raft it uh, all depends on what's going on with this week. Uh, for right now, though, we're going to play Star Trek Online. I'm going to stop around 2 o'clock just to make sure that I, because I, I have, you know, other things I have to do. And then I'll probably get on a couple of hours after that. So, yeah. Uh, let's get right on to it. Is it see where at the loading screen? Um, I've already made, I've been playing on a little bit today just to make sure I kind of remember how to do things. Um, I've already made the character. We're starting out brand new. So, uh, yeah, let's get on to it. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hova system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Alright guys. Let's go talk to this lady. People you can interact with are 
interact with have icons above their heads. Finally, you can I was beginning to think you forgot to what today was. To talk with them. How could I? You remind me every day. For the past month, did you, did you get your assignments? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Ooh. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. Yeah, I've awesome. always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Greetings. Greetings. Rascal said you had something to tell it me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Good job. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper to you. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Is there... Is this where I get my train crew's assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Olivia May Julius. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Uh-oh. Well, that can't be good. Come. Cadet. You asked to see me, sir? I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I'm not a tactical officer, sir. I, uh, I concentrate on my course for my on courses for my career track. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who's that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Yes, sir. Don't 
Don't ask me why I just did a somersault for, but okay. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Tiger said he's he wants the senior he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass an advanced phase of training first. You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky holodeck. Have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. What kind of tactics can I expect? It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako assault training. Only a phaser. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. Come on, shoot. Thank you. Well done, cadet. You're not going to break the Academy record. But your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations! First officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. It'll be an honor serving with you. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. What can I say? The captain sees greatness in me. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. I won't. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. All right, lead the way. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. 
So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. You really say foreshadowing? Okay. Let's see here. Where do I make that toast at? Over here. Cool. Let's go ahead and leave the toast. May I have here everyone's attention? We are the senior staff of the USS OJ Gaming, which is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand, and we are ready. I have the utmost faith in each in each of you. You're the best the academy has, and together we can do anything. Let's show a little humility. I ask that we support one another. If we can work as a team, we can accomplish our goals. To Starfleet Academy. To the USS to OJ Gaming and to our crew. All cadets, please board your shuttles. That better be sent to Hall. The assignment on the ship is the communications officer. The captain expects this. Okay, I can't read that fast. Come on. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. I can't believe we're finally doing this. USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She is a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Alright. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? Cadet Olivia May Julius, acting first officer. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. No problem. That's the bridge. I just want to say, this is one big bridge. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Javel, get clearance from traffic control for the OJ Gaming to leave the ga uh, gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Flores, send a signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. 
Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specifically only specify thrusters only while in the vicinity of space dock? Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Would you stop jumping up? That's where I do cartwheels. Okay, I would like to be in my seat. No, nope, we're gonna jump over the seats. Gotcha. There we go. <laughs> Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the break even. Can you hear me? So our work order is failing? We can really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. You heard the distress call number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the train cruise? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that transmission was audio only. A war for mercy shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? Uh, I recommend we go into red alert, full power to weapons, and low photons. That's a little much, wouldn't you say? There's You're no justification right. to go in. Guns blazing. You're probably right, but we should raise, sh raise I shields. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Back to the break even should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. Give me. Okay. Uh, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on. This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chalk. Nice. Doc, security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Yes, sir.
Alright guys, hang on. Not that way. We also here. Oh, we also here. Nope. Let's show the hand scene. There we go. Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. I can improve my ship's structure integrity field. All right. No problem. Number one, we've got injured up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Hi, sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area.
Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. My captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky! It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Make me proud! We have target lock, Captain. Their signal. What now? We we survived, but the captain, Captain Taggart, knew what would happen, and he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. Yeah. Sit in the captain's chair. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Javel, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. You trying, Elsa? Uh, Elsa, is there what's the status of the thing on ship? She's still cloaked. But I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Savara, damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the break-even? Hello, them, Trail. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. SS break-even, this is Starfleet Vessel USS OJ Gaming. What is your status? Well, this is awkward. You're angry. I can see that. Understandable. Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. The Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. 
I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Don't suppose you could lend me a hand here? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. I'll see what I can, I'll see what we can do. Need support. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Cool. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Go ahead, repair. Thanks, and good luck with the Klingons. We'll need it. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Vara, do you have a damage support? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. You have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Any idea, Elsa? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Is getting annoying. Stay focused and work fast. There's still a Klingon out there who wants to kill us. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level 1 diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp 1. <laughs> Elsa, give me a status report. Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Any chances we can determine what's jamming our communications in the system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. She 
Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. Long-range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Send it. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. You might be able to use that to find them. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Probably I'll send the source research. of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make your death swift! Your ship is outfitted with phaser beam banks. These weapons have a 270 degree firing arc. This is the firing arc for the forward phaser banks. Okay. This is the firing arc for the rear phaser banks. Note that both the forward and rear phasers have an overlapping arc of fire on the sides of your ship. Firing at enemies within the overlapping portion of your firing arcs is known as broadsiding. This allows both the forward and rear phaser banks to fire on the same target at the same time, increasing your damage output. Federation captains who prefer beam bank weapons favor the broadside technique and will often circle their target, keeping them within the broadside arc at all times. Okay, down there. I don't see anything.
Multiple birds of prey decloaking. There we go. Yeah, lock on to them. Zarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else. From Starfleet. On screen. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yeah, yes, sir. We are ambushed by Klingon. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory, even for Klingons. Where is Captain Taggart? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. I see. And you're the acting captain. Yes, sir, I am. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for Earth Space Dock. We'll get you back in one piece. What about the Klingons? Who killed Captain Tiger, sir? Cadet is still out there. Believe me, Cadet. If he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. Accompany me. Consider this a field promotion, cadet. Yes, sir.
We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Very good. Set course to Kittimer. No Kittimer. Let's get to the stack. This signal. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. I'll do it. What are you both doing here? I am in command of the OJ game and Captain Nog ordered me to come with him to your location. Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. You know what happened with your communications? The cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Taggart was killed in the attack, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Chimera was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter course and investigate. What's the situation here, Captain Nim? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. Any questions? You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me a bit of myself when I was an ensign. Of course, I wasn't commanding a ship back then. Let's see how you perform before you start claiming that chair full time. Understood. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Kittimer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. We saw the same issue. How can we prove our findings? My chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggests that performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. Understood. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. All life forms will be assimilated. Good if I would. Yeah, what if I could? Eh, I guess I could aim for the Kittimer. Go, full and palace and back online. Go, good. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. Yeah, Metro. Your master situation. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Can you hold out on your own? We have a problem of our own to deal with. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Captain Nog, someone must ha I have activated the image from the bridge. If the bridge was attacked in the Borg attack, Captain Yim might have activated the EMH to alert us. The Borg haven't been seen in this quadrant in decades. 
This isn't a coincidence. We need more information. Collect data from all of the probes. What do you need us to do? All send teams to aid the Kittimer. I want you to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. And Cadet, if you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. The Borg can rattle veteran Starfleet officers, and you've already gone up against the Klingons today. I trust my crew. We'll get the job done. I've linked the IOTA point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Send us the data so we can begin our analysis. We have your data and our science team is analyzing it now. What's the status of the Kittimer? Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? Can we use the Kittimer to help ana ana analyze that? There's there? an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Great. Can you help the... Kamira and analyze the data to accumulate in the system. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Okay, great. Let's see what we can determine. Borg transwarp signatures detected. This is it. Get ready for combat. They're firing. I need help. It's turn, 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 turn. Borg warp signatures detected. It's an impatient force. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. The Borg are leaving, most likely for a more strategic target. Concentrate fire on the remaining sphere. Now, we can do this.
Okay, Cadet. Here's how I see it. The Borg are using the Pollux system as a staging area. Our long-range sensors are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Their most likely target is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it by surprise, they'll have a large population to turn into drones. What's your next course of action? I want you to go to the Vega colony and warn them about the Borg. What you? The Chimera is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kinemar here. We'll do what we can to delay the Borg, but it's going to be up to you to warn the Vega colonists. Understood. What's up? What's that course, Vega? We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Part system. This is bad. Close to the sun here. Well, I mean.
You need to warn the Vega colony about the Borg. We'll do what we can to hold off the Borg here and repair the Kittimer. Good luck. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Alright. Now that we're here... I will get that down. Yeah. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? All the colonies, we have to warn them. Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. Monster? Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? Borg are on their way. This system. We need to start evacuating. Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about... The Borg are on their way, Mayor. You have to evacuate. Well, what just happened? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. That course of satellites. signal was that like? Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your orders, sir. Zarva, can we get transporter locks to the colonists? The Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the gain, though. Pray after the Borg will be here any... Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. I won't go for the other ones.
Captain, I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. We make our stand here, cadets. Look for any more Borg landing parties. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Let's do it. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Yeah. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough. The interference is affecting the ship's transporters. Understood. We will manually tag any survivors we find for transport. Any questions? No, sir. I'll follow your lead. Let's get moving. Okay, well, I guess I'm not following you. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. 
We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. Uh. Save armor? No, we're too late. We have the civilians. There is still no sign of the Renown or the Kittimer, sir.
I apologize for Kolez putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? Well, the only ones here. The OJ gaming is in orbit. I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. They can rescue them, but something is blocked in our transporters. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. That can't be it. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Coles and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is... <laughs> was a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. You have my thanks. I'll return the equipment and then set up the pattern enhancers. We have lowered shields for the transporter, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign of board ships. Come there. The pattern enhancers are working. I'm not a moment too soon. I can hear the board moving this way. Hey, single session to come here and support transport. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? As long as we need to. Here's a signal. Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? Concentrate fire on the board. We need to keep them away from the civilians. Yes, sir. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. Copy. Yeah, there it's Bell. 
We need their. Uh, we'll be there soon. Uh, we'll be there soon. Mayor, thank you for your assistance. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. I'm not finished yet. Skulas, you with me. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the war take it without a fight. All right, let's get moving then. All right, Coles, you're going to see friends who've been assimilated. I know the drill. Just never expected any Borg here, you know. So, John's around the woods here. I knew that one. We played poker last night. Disable that force field. The Borg are activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. Yeah, I hear it. The Borg are so. What's the word? Effective? Systematic, evil. I'm gonna go with evil. I think they're a little mad. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. Beam us out. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Can we reconfigure the satellites and, satellites in the system to send out automatic warning? Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The Sounds message like won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Sounds like a solid plan. Well, lay in a course for the first satellite. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the Borg like us hanging around.
Okay, forward. Never thought I'd wish I was back at the Academy studying for the Astrometrics final. Warning. Ship is under attack. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. ships on sensors. No way to contact them, and I can't tell if they're friend or foe. It's our time to go out in the blaze of glory.
We're in the war. We're in the war. We held off what we could at Polis and sent a signal out to Starfleet. These were the closest ships. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. Glad to see you. There's no way we could have defeated the war. You've been doing a great no. job so far. Reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons was excellent thinking, by the way. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. That's going to save a lot of lives. Are we going to attempt to retake Vegan? It's an option for sure. Right now, I need you to protect the civilians you have on board and ensure the safety of your crew. The Kittimer will return to Earth space dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He'll have more information for you. Yes, sir. You and your crew have done well. Colas will make a fine addition to your senior staff. See? Congratulations. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. Warp to, warp, warp to Earth space suck then. All right. Then we're here at 11 o'clock. I think before we do very much else, I'm going to order some, order some lunch real fast because I'm getting hungry. Go ahead and grab, get to the emeralds. This. Come on. Security teams, report to docking bay six. The shuttle to Saturn will be in zero eight thirty hours. Greetings. Oh. Greetings, Lieutenant. I have new words for you. Admiral Sir Olivia May Julius reporting. We have a lot to discuss, Cadet. It's Lieutenant, sir. Yes, I see that here in the report transmitted by Captain Nog. He granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart, correct? Acting First Officer? Yes, sir, that is correct. I've read the reports. Facing off against Klingon raiders and a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? Very unusual. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. <laughs> That's quite the story. Yes, sir. It's all true. Don't worry. I have statements here from Captains Nog and Yim and Administrator Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. I'm a Starfleet officer. It's in the job description. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Sir? Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. You won't regret this, sir. Your orders? You will be assigned to the Klingon front. But first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. 
I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. Excellent. Let's go ahead and see about getting our ship made, uh, our ship figured out. Got the new Janeway class. It just released. Good deal. I can't really tell. Nice start. Hmm, there's our ship. Advance. Start making it look a little more meaner than a regular, than a regular ship here. Um, let's go with that one. Yeah, that looks mean. Natasha, I'm having a uh, McDonald's. Fast, it's quick, and it's you know easier to eat a French fry than it is to um, eat a pizza or something while I'm playing. Ooh, let's do some coloring. Usually I would use purple, but for right now I'm going to use the OJ Gaming color, so orange and black. Voila. That actually looks pretty cool. What do you think, Natasha? Changes. Okay. I can help you with the ship and shuttle structure modifications. That's it. Where I get that? Transporter technician to room 46. I need to access mail. Natasha needs pink. Yeah, well, next next ship I will. Um, there's plenty of other times where we get new ships, so next ship. Now 
now I just want to make sure we're where we need to be and I right, make sure we have everything that we need and then we'll head out to the Vulcan system. Peter. Nice. Right, let's go ahead and beam back up to the ship. Let's see here. How long have we been going for? Look at my little small little ship compared to what is that the Odyssey class? Yep, compared to the Odyssey class and whichever class that is. Look at my little small little ship. Even the Excelsior is bigger than my ship. I have a little wimpy one. Look at me. Little wimpy shippy. Little wimpy shippy. I was looking around to see what else is around here. A Federation cruiser right there. We have a Nebula class right there. Those things are nice to look at. My, oops. Bye Nebula, bye Nebula. Thanks, sorry for hitting you. We have a, um, whatever the, to get, whatever the, um, Rangi's ships are. We have a hero class down there. Alright. Let's go ahead and warp the projector space. Our system. My friends sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew. A thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. Well, hey, at least I have a cute little ship. It's a bit holy, but you know, hey. We'll get the job done until we can get a new ship. So it tells me that the USS OJ Game, uh, no, the OSS OJ Gaming isn't going away anytime soon. Alright, let's get closer to the Vulcan. There's Vulcan system.
Yeah, when we arrived at the Vulcan system. I took the liberty of contacting Ambassador's aide when we arrived. Tupel says the Ambassador has certain arrangements that he prefers uh, traveling first when traveling. She would like to go over them with you. Would you like me to put her on my view screen? On screen. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Call Wreck holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Good. Let's go ahead and board a shell. Let's go down there. Oh, why are you going to take care of this for? Are you ready to land? Welcome, sir. Uh, when you are ready to make the final approach, let me know. This is a big shuttle! I wonder what these buttons do. Considering that this is the outside, I put you these buttons. Yeah, they're fun. Alright. Go ahead and land the shuttle. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, this is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. I'll enjoy my stay. Captain, the ambassadors and his aide are waiting for you at the temple on the top of the rise. We can speak to them there and find out if the ambassador needs anything else from us before we depart. But Jim. That's... Your... Captain Ambassador's aide, Tapelis, requested we meet her before they speak to the Ambassador. Okay, I mean, we could talk to her first. I mean, okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Everybody wants a piece of the Captain. I know. Welcome. Captain regrets for me that we, uh, that we have come to impasse and Completing your mission. Oh, let me just explain it. As you know, Pajama is the sacred Vulcan. The sacred to the Vulcan people, and access is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not uh, present any difficulties, but Seven, the leader that maintained the monastery, has chosen this moment to illog uh, illog illogically refuse to grant Ambassador Salkath mission to meet with um, the about but <laughs> the about to pitch him. This is most abnormal. Can this trip wait until Southern changes his mind? The ambassador is concerned going to the council to request that uh, they overrule Southern. But the process will take time and simply does not have if the ambassador is unable to complete his journey to Pajam now, we will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Corden is complete, and that could take weeks. One of seven. We didn't grant the ambassador permission. The ambassador, I'm afraid, has spent too much time off road. I have seen it to change him. His interactions with other species have grown easier over the years. But our own people have become more challenging for him to deal with. Perhaps you could speak to Seven. And, ah, Seven. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet. And you might have an easier time than he has in convincing him to grant them Ambassador's request. Okay. Come here. Yep. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? 
Sarketh says you won't prepare him to visit Pajam. Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajam. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Well, I mean, if he wants to go, though, he can go. I mean, I'm not going to say no to him, you know? Do you Whatever. seek knowledge of the ancestors? Many years ago, Pajem was used for political purposes. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was hidden beneath the sacred sanctuary. It should never have happened. Buildings that had stood for twelve centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. When the monastery was rebuilt, we pledged to keep it safe from the cares of the galaxy. Only those who seek peace may enter. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? No, I seek peace. Can I enter now? The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on Pajem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Soketh's request does not qualify. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Soketh says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Yes, sir. All right, got permission. Let's go back over here to the ambassador. Welcome to Vulcan. Thank you, I feel welcome. Do you have any questions? Pajem is a small world near Andoria. It is sacred to our people. There have been Vulcans on Pajem for centuries. In 2152, the ancient buildings that housed our monastery were destroyed by the Andorians. Well, last time I checked, if you remember Enterprise, you kind of did that to yourselves by putting a subspace trans uh, putting a subspace, a subspace thing in there so you guys can monitor Andorians, and it kind of was a bad thing, but you know. It was a failing in our logic that led to conflict with the Andorians. Thank you. We have corrected our error. I'm sure you have. After the Federation was founded, a group of Andorians, Vulcans, and humans rebuilt the monastery as a symbol of peaceful coexistence and cooperation. Since then, a group of monks has lived there. They study the ideals of Sirach. Okay. Do you have any questions? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. You know, for Thankfully, you're a little angry. he has listened to reason, and our journey won't be delayed any longer. I am ready to leave now. Is the shuttle prepared for departure? Well, well in that case, you can just stay right here on the rock. So. You took my words a little too literal. Oh, let's just go down here. Okay. Here's the little ship of oh, wrecked. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, 
We have logged your flight trajectory, and you are clear for departure. Live long and prosper. And to you. Turn to the bridge. Cool. Yeah, but they don't expect it wants you know this ship. I find it kinda of ironic, okay? We're in a shell craft. We're about ready to land at the ship, you know, supposedly. So why are maybe we mean to this ship for? Okay. I can't wait the extra five seconds. Beam me up. <laughs> Ambassador Sets has returned to his court uh has retired to his quarters where you can leave the system whenever you like. Okay, you guys give me a minute. Let me reach over here real fast and grab something. system. Your inventory has a replicator that will allow you to buy and sell items. Press I to open your inventory. Click on replicator to access your... You can purchase common items from the replicator. You can sell items by using Recycle, and retrieve sold items with Retrieve. Yeah. Going through all six right. Sir, I'm picking up an unusual energy reading in the system. We should scan the system before we take the ambassador to the surface. Agreed. Sister's on maximum. This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Oh, how lovely. You know, we usually say hi, where I come from, but, you know. Kill me? Yeah, that works too. Come <laughs> on. 
Captain, we're being held by the thing on on screen. Cease your fire, Captain. Perhaps today is a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Shapeshifter? Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs dies screaming. And Undine, have you had any proof? Proof? Ah! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. I'll take that into consideration. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close hailing frequencies. As the sensors indicate that Klingons, vessels, warp drive, shields, and weapons systems are all offline. I don't even think they have impulse power. Whatever you decide to do, they can't really do much. The Undine are a species that was first encountered by the USS Voyager. They uh, cataloged them as species 8472. As the Klingon Khmer indicated, they are indeed capable of changing shape. Additionally, they possess telepathic abilities that aim them, uh, that aid them into infiltrating the cultures of other species. The ambassador's soul cloth to be one. I'm afraid that is a consideration we cannot rule out, Captain. I could conduct a test to determine if the ambassador who is uh, is who he claims to be. Fortunately, that violates the ambassador's immunity. Thing on vessels waiting for your phone. And they come from a dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum simulators to move around, move around into ours. I'm afraid much of our technology still remains a mystery. But one thing is certain: it's not uh, to be underestimated. Why is Starfleet? That I can't say, Captain. But the Undine are virtually unknown to the Quadrant. My guess is that they are main to conceal their Presence here. Anything else? Well, the Klingons are saying could be true, Captain. If the Undine are in, are in the Beta Quadrant, quadrant it might just be that the Klingons sniff them out for us. In this case, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Undine are physically superior to humans and consider them. Uh, consider anyone from our dimension to be an inferior life form. Our vessel is more than a match for the board. They represent a great threat to the The ambassador is still on his course. Sir, I recommend staying in security until to the, detain the ambassador until we search of its identity. They sound like gosh, I agree. Klingon vessels waiting for a response. Follow the ambassador to a bridge and open a channel to Klingon vessel with Silvis. My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. 
I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. Very generous, but unnecessary. And the beast is slain? Makka! Very good! Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead. I present Ambassador Self. Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! Not without proof, Kitab. You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it for what it truly is. A grint hound in Tark's clothing. That's your little message. There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine. A species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. That's reasonable consideration. Potentially. But only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have, in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault? That's the thing on vessel. Weapons inoperable. Warp drive is still offline. Wait. I'm detecting an energy surge. They're engaging their floating device. A true warrior strikes without mercy, Captain. I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now. I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem! Fire. I lost some on sensors, Captain. Scan the area. Captain undetected energy signatures on Pajem's surface. They're in the vicinity of the monastery. They appear to be transport uh, appear to be transport signals. Left signs indicate the air for them. You can wait team down. Captain. Shall I accompany you? Yeah, it's too dangerous. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain, let not my journey here be for naught. Await him to transport room one. Captain, yeah, detecting energy signatures. Um, oh, wait. We just a wise them. In them. Cats, we need to secure the area. Oh. Cats, we need to secure the secure the area. Then make our way towards the monastery, which uh, which is located at the top of the hill. I'm reading multiple thing on. Patrols between us and the main building, sir. Recommend that we proceed with caution. Alert. We need to find the boots. Hey! Just literally throw that thing at me. Did you literally throw that thing at me? You're gonna work on your aim.
You know, it looks like my food's almost here. I'm gonna pause it real fast.
Testing, testing. Okay, good. Okay, guys, sorry about that. You would think. You would think. Uh, DoorDash would have the common sense and the brains and everything else to deliver my food and deliver it to the right place. They ended up delivering it. Um, I'm in a hotel right now. I'm on the first floor. They ended up delivering it to the third floor and way off the room numbers. But So basically, I had to eat. I mean, basically, I'm, uh, I had to go track down where they put my order. Not really too happy about Okay. Let's shoot. Thank you. That hurt. Let's go to Montreal and try to seek. Okay, no. Okay. I don't think we need to cling on octopus. I want to know what a Klingon octopus is. I'm going up this hill. Or, no, we don't need blood, please. Thank you. It would be delicious, but you know. You? Yeah, I can take that. Gonna close it. Is there a message? Sir, we've received reports from Vulcan. Uh, Tapala says she must receive it to you immediately. I'll patch you. Through. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. You need to be very careful. 
This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. All right. Wrong way. Oh, hello. You are that ugly, aren't you? I have enough armaments to handle the ending attack. Sarah Police reports that sending ships to assist us, but they are 60 seconds out. We need to hold off until uh, the reinforcements get here. Captain, we uh, if we target their torpedoes, we may have a chance. Hey guys, you heard the lady. Go. Back online, let's go. Everything we got, babe. Everything we got, everything we got, everything we got. Let's go. Got the super channel ready. Much more time, 27 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Emergency shields. Sixteen percent. Ten, nine. Shields are down. There we go. Fourteen. There we go. Good. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. One second. Let's go. And there goes USS OJ Jewel, uh, OJ again.
Oh, would you apparently die already? Amanda, you're out here. Give me like the shots. Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. The ambassador was an Undine? I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Yeah. Congratulations, Lieutenant. We have a large number of operations going on in various parts of the galaxy. 
and we're constantly in need of ships and crew to work in these joint efforts. We've learned of a remote system where elements of the old Romulan Star Empire are trying to take over an asteroid mining facility. Nobody wants to see that happen, so there's a joint operation underway to stop them. Sign on to the task force operation for the Romulan Imperial Minefield and see if you can lend a hand. Yeah. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth's space dock. It may need assistance. Transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communications and life support failing. Cannot eject warp core. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Yeah, let's go. To any ships in range, this is data brought of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured, taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us.
phone pass. Let's get over there. Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. Try to keep a lock on us. All I can ask. No. It's an Orion. Oh. 
Please drive for us. You can do that. Go ahead and get out of here. Isn't that great, man? I mean, look at you. You have to be 10 feet taller than me, huh? Okay. Alright. Let's be on that. Okay. Right. It's over here. There we go. Ryan ambush on our way to K7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orion's boarded the ship. I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. I'll help your crew. Yep, don't worry. I have to do everything for you guys, don't I? They're all just staring at me like, oh my goodness. If you reroute from life support containment, you can stabilize the warp core long enough to erect the Level 10 force fill, which should hold the Entmire long enough for the Azura to get to the star base for repairs. It's risky, but unless you do something, the will explode. Okay, it's the wrap power for my support. Okay. Cool. It's not like anybody needs life support around here, right? Nobody wants to live? Okay, gotcha. We're doing it. They're gonna type it in the buttons, we're just looking nice. This works for the uh, a two percent. I may have backups will engage a power to life support drops below. Quite percent. Are you sure you wish to reroute power to intermediate containment? Reroute power. Blank containment field. Blank containment field. Thank you. Engage to force field. Out of here, then. 
get out. Am I literally stuck right here? Come on, there we go. There we go. That's a good Olivia. Okay, you brought the map. How many clingers are we have fun in here? Surprised that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a freighter. But their call for assistance has given us a chance for glorious combat. Yeah, but there. Did I not do it? It's on the area. We should alert the ship. She needs borders, huh? I think, it, I think we just, uh, We just, um, glitch. I think we just glitched the game by accident. Go to the bridge, okay. We can go to the bridge. Do I have to manually go to the bridge? I guess we do. Cool. Okay, message. Please, now, if you know what's good for you, Starfleet. We are taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. That yeah, Azra is our. The Azra. Wow. The Sora and her crew are under Starfleet's protection. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There you are. Hey buddy, how you doing? 
Can I give you guys a little bit of something? I got a little bit of torpedo for you. Ah, uh, well, you guys don't want torpedo? You guys don't like the torpedo. Do you guys not like the torpedo I give you? Oh, I am so sorry. Here, how about another one? Oh, button. Okay. Can't tell me why I fire there. There we go. We did die. See ya. Many thanks. If it hadn't been for you and your crew, I would have lost my ship and my life. I'm in your debt. I'm setting a course to Earth's space dock for repairs. If I see you at Club 47, the drinks are on me. I think I might even have a few bottles of Tranya in the cargo hold. Good. Okay, I think that about wraps it up for me, guys. Um, I got something I got to do here in about an hour well and a half, done. so... You saved that crew just in time. Congratulations, you Click here to learn more. Alright, guys. I'm out of here. Um, thanks for watching. I'll probably be back on today. Uh, a little bit later today after I get done with uh, what I need to do today. Um, with the rest of what I need to do. Um, so, yeah. This has been... Um, this has been Star Trek uh, on 